Hey guys, Donnie Wright's out here, Bookmakers Review. Look, we just got done Super Bowl 58, so we're technically in the offseason waiting on the franchise tags to be applied around football. Then we head into free agency in the draft and so be it. But I do want to concentrate here on the combine coming up. Now, the reason being is the combine can make you a lot of money or certainly lose you a lot of money, right, as some of these NFL players have seen. We've been going all the way back to the mid-1990s and the Philadelphia Eagles with Mike Mamula, who trained for the combine and actually improved his spots quite a bit and millions of dollars can be made. It's no different to the quarterbacking position. Now, we do expect Caleb Williams to be the number one overall pick going to the Chicago Bears if they don't trade that pick. Drake May probably going to be in that two spot, but also keep in mind right behind him is Jaden Daniels out of LSU, who is an unbelievable physical specimen. And the reason I bring that up is these guys probably aren't going to work out and throw to wide receivers except on their own personal pro days, and rightfully so. But when we take a look at the draft combine and the whole process through it, we do love un unbelievable, ridiculous talent, which includes, obviously, arm strength. And again, I don't think at the combine either one of these guys are going to throw. You'll have chalk talk, which means these guys will be at the combine and go to those prospective teams that are asking them questions to see if maybe they're in the process of drafting their future quarterback. Obviously, Caleb Williams, not going to have to make too many rounds here, but he'll probably go to four to five teams just in case the Chicago Bears do look to make a move with that top overall pick. But here's the difference. Drake May, if we're coming in taking a look at being the better quarterback over Jaden Daniels, maybe so long term, but we do know in the draft process, which particularly begins at the combine if you have a great bunch of meetings with teams that could move you up the board but more importantly forget about bench pressing and doing all that stuff how about running the 40 yard dash which is a key contributor to getting guys drafted ahead of where they thought they would go you go out there at the draft combine and run a 4 40 as compared to a 4 40 you're going to improve your draft stock and that's why we bring up Jaden Daniels here to be maybe the second quarterback off the board it's hard for an NFL team that does so much tape review but once you get these guys guys on the field, even if it is in shorts and t-shirts, you can make up a big difference in that perceived gap between who should be quarterback number two, like Drake May, or who should be quarterback number three, like Jaden Daniels. Let me tell you this right now. We show up to Indianapolis at that draft combine, and Jaden Daniels blazes a 4 2 5 40 in his 40 yard dash. There's going to be a lot of chatter that not only should it be the number two quarterback taken, but should it be the number one overall quarterback taken? I understand. It's usually about the film that you watch, and yes. We're taking a look at Jaden Daniels. He had unbelievable help at the wide receiver position at LSU, the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback this season, and he's a phenomenal talent. But I can't wait for the draft combine because things are going to change up. Once Jaden Daniels decides to run, there's going to be a lot of draws dropping to the floor with how fast he actually is. It's the offseason in football. We know that, but it's never too early to get you guys prepped for the combine and also for the NFL draft. I'm Donnie Wrightside for Bookmakers Review, and as always, good luck on those wagers.